Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO live stream. I thought I'd go live for a bit and just play around with some Hidden Fates deck. Uh, currently, I have two different Hidden Fates decks uh, I want to play right now. And I just thought, hey, why not live stream? There's really nothing, I don't think there's anything wrong with just streaming for a bit. I got the time to kind of just chill out, relax, and uh, stream. So I'm excited to stream and try out some new Hidden Fates decks. I only currently have two because Hidden Fates is very expensive right now. Currently, I'm working with this Arbok, Jesse, and James deck and my Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Victini deck. So those are the two decks that I've got to work with today. And uh, those are the ones that I'm going to be playing on today's uh, stream. This is my Articuno build. Um, actually, I should probably edit the deck because... I do want to change up the deck a little bit here, but uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much how it's going to go. I don't know how long I'll be streaming for, like, uh, maybe, like, an hour, an hour, hour, 20 minutes, something like that. Um, but yeah, this is the Articuno deck that I've got to work with right now. It's pretty good. I like it quite a bit. Also, let me know how the stream is in terms of, like, frame rate and stuff, just because... I just need to know because I currently have the game settings in 1920 by 1080. But I don't know if that's going to affect like the lag on the stream or not. So I want to edit my uh, deck here real quick. So this is like the original build I was working with. Uh, I do want to make a new version of the deck though before we get into it. I just wait for some people to join the stream. But uh, I do want to edit this deck and kind of switch things around. So first of all, I probably want to add that second tag switch. We'll take out rain one rainbow brush. And uh, we'll put in a uh, either a Buzzmosa or a Reshizar. I'm thinking more Buzzmosa though. This is what we got to work with. This is this is the updated little uh, bird trio list. We'll call it Bird Trio Victini, just just so that we can like separate the two builds. Because this one is different than the other one that I have, the Trio Victory. Because this I changed the list up a bit. I need to copy and paste the deck list into my uh, my thing tomorrow, or when I upload my video. So I'm not going to show the entire thing. I so let's wait for some people to join before we find some games. There's currently no one on the stream right now. I'm actually talking to myself, which kind of feels weird. Uh, but we'll just chill out for a minute. I'm just gonna watch my stream. Just make sure everything's good here on the stream. Make sure there's no lag. The frame rate should be good. Everything should be good to go. And uh, we'll play around with our deck here. I might play some other decks too, I guess. I don't know. I mainly just want to play the two decks. So we'll uh, we'll do some games here with our little bird trio deck here. First off the bat, up against Bug Bugs. Okay, interesting name. We'll see if we run into any Pikaram. That is what I'm going to be interested in seeing. It's because Pikaram hits me for weakness, which ain't good. But we are, it looks like, potentially up against Whimsicott, Porygon Z, which will be interesting. We got one power play in the deck specifically for situations like this. So we are going to start with a Keldeo. A bit of an, actually an awkward hand. Not too good. We'll see what we start with. Ooh, perfect top deck. All right, so we can get Victini here out of the deck. Where are you at? All right, let's see what we prize. We got our birds. Buzzmos is there. We got our Silvali. But yeah, this deck will be uploaded tomorrow on YouTube. Um, we'll switch and pass. Oh, actually, I can custom country for one. Try and get like a Lily, I guess. Why not? I'll take it. Okay. We'll just pass. And then next turn, we will uh, victory sign. I might even just build up Keldeo since Whimsicott can't really damage me. Hopefully, we can get a good Erica here before we do anything else. We'll kind of just chill out for a minute and uh, kind of just do our thing. Kind of just do our thing. We'll see what happens here. Whimsicott, I think, is winnable. Uh, the whole bench wipe thing might not be as easy with this matchup, though. So we'll have to see how that goes if we're able to get a good bench wipe. Because if he has like, a bunch of Whimsicott in play, we can't hit all the Whimsicotts for 110. And then he gets like heads in all of them. But he is playing some Pokemon down. If he's playing that Porygon Z build, I hope he benches a Porygon here. But no, just a Dust Gathering. Okay, what do we draw? Another unit. I guess we're going to Erica and hope for the best. No, weren't able to really get much. Uh, we can build up Keldeo though, which is fine, I guess. Not the end of the world. Probably just go one water on it. I don't want to commit too much energy to my Keldeo. Not great. But next turn, we can attack with it at the very least. We might not even get knocked out. You never know. We might not even get KO'd here. 
You never know. My opponent might let me live, but I doubt it. He could go for Toy Box GX. We'll see. But yeah, Caldeo versus Whimsicott. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And there is Toy Box GX. Search check for up to five cards. Puts them in your hand. So he's actually letting my Victini live, which means if I can find the Articuno trio thing here, we uh, can get an extra turn to build it up with Victini, which is pretty nice. If not, um, I'll probably just retreat, try to attack with Keldeo, I guess. That's like my best play. No, we drew Buzzmosa. We're probably not going to need you, Buzzmosa, so we're going to get rid of it. Just get energy out of the deck. Kind of sucks. Well, we'll have to retreat into Keldeo. Play Light Energy on it, and uh, Sonic Edge goes right through him thanks to the effect of the attack. And I doubt my opponent has a way to really damage me, so we probably could just attack with Keldeo, try to win that way. But we can get the uh, Bird Trio in play. Man, if we had the Bird Trio ready to go, we honestly could have potentially pulled off a attack here, knocking out Ditto and all the Cottonies. That would have been pretty awesome, but we were unable to get there, unfortunately. We were unable to get there. But uh, we'll see what happens here. We're definitely in a uh, decent spot, I would say. It's all, he also can't really damage me, I guess. I guess we can use Fairy Charm ability, though. Well, I think we still go through um, his thing. I don't know if we go through or not. Either way, we'll buy some time with Keldeo until we get the Bird Trio in play anyways. He can't He can't damage me. I doubt he's playing... Um, like I doubt he's playing any copies of uh, Power Plant because it's pretty pointless to play Power Plant. So I guarantee you he's not playing that in his deck. So uh, we should be good here to kind of just go for now. Okay, what do we draw? Cynthia, there we go. We're getting somewhere. Try and build up a little, little Articuno thing in the background, which we do find. Nice. Got a Cherish Ball, get that Articuno. Now, my opponent can definitely Custom Catcher it out, potentially, and damage it, which could be kind of a worry, so we got to watch out for that. But we'll just keep going through it. I'm pretty sure we can still... Yeah, we can knock him out, right? It goes straight through his effects, just making sure. Just making sure. I'm glad we have the Keldeo in the deck now. I'm glad we put the Keldeo into the deck. Definitely was a big brain move for sure. Yeah, we got two prizes. That's right. All right, so my opponent can attack him with Porygon Z potentially in attack. Like, that's like one option he has. He can go Porygon Z, which would be pretty scary. He can hit me for 130 and confuse me. So we gotta be careful for that. Oh, he just concedes the game. Yeah, the Bird Trio deck taking another dub. All right, before we find a game, I should probably I'm gonna post that I am streaming here on my Twitter. The only problem is I can't find the stream on my actual YouTube, which is kind of stupid. I think I just go go my channel. Right, I'm just gonna chill out for a minute while I set up the stream. And kind of just say that, hey, I am streaming right now, guys. But I cannot find where the heck the stream is. This is weird. YouTube is, like, so weird. Like, I literally cannot find the stream video anywhere. I'm, like, going through all my videos here. And I can't find I can't find a thing that's telling me I'm live. Live now. Wait. Was I uh, private the whole time? Yo, guys, welcome back to a brand new live stream. Hidden Fates is out. I got two Hidden Fates decks to play. I got my uh, Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Bird Trio, Victini deck, and then I also have a uh, Arbok, Jesse, and James deck. So I'll probably play around those two decks for like an hour or whatever. I got some time to stream, so I was like, eh, why not whip it out? Funny enough, I, I was playing one game today, and I thought I was live streaming, and then it turns out my stream was on private, which is kind of silly. Uh, but we should be back now, and we should be indeed live. Let me just refresh this page. But kind of silly that I forgot that my stream was private. Really, really stupid, in all honesty. Um, but we'll just wait until the stream goes back up. I don't really know what's going on uh, with this right now. It's got to give me a minute if anyone's actually in the stream. I can't tell because it's still saying I'm offline here on my stream page when I'm not. What do you mean live stream offline? Bruh, I'm literally live right now. I think it'll just take a minute. Probably just, yeah, it'll probably just take a minute. 
probably will just take a minute. And the stream should be public this time and not private, like I forgot to do. Actually, I was close to say. So if anyone's in the stream, I apologize. Give me a minute before. Let me just set things up here real quick. Got to go back to Creator Studio Classic here. I don't know why they updated that. It was just stupid. Okay, we'll go back to the live streaming tab, and it should say that I'm live right now. Should say that I'm live because I just restarted it. Still says I'm offline for some reason. Bruh. What do you mean? <laughs> Dang it, if only I wasn't on private. I, oh, I'm actually, that cheeses me. Um, now what do I do? Oh, there we go. Stream resumed. Boom. Okay, boom. We're back to business. Yes, and I can see myself streaming. All right, nice. Beautiful. All right, we are back to business, folks. And it, it does say that the stream is public. Better stay that way. All right, before we get into this, I'll, I'll, I'll play the deck in a minute. Uh, I gotta just make sure that this isn't... I mean, I have it set to public right now on my stream dashboard. I'm just gonna make sure. For some reason, though, the stream is like... It says that the stream was uploaded, like the stream right now has be, was uploaded back in, like, June for some reason. I YouTube is so weird. And I gotta, I gotta find the stream. Make sure that I have it public. But it is far back. It's like, it's like almost as far back as I am in Unbroken Bond. Like, bruh. But hopefully everything is good. Stream better not be on private. Let's see. Where is it? I'll go to my channel real quick. It's actually stupid. It might actually be still be private. There's nobody in the stream right now. All right, hold on. Let me find this. I don't know why it's not just like the first video, but whatever. Teach his own, I guess. Where is it? It should be down here. I know you guys can't even see what I'm looking at right now. I'm just going through my videos on my home home feed, trying to find the stream. There we go. Boom. Three people are watching. All right. What's up, dude? Yo, Mini UK English. What up, man? Okay. I got it fixed. I, I had the stream on private for like a game or two, and I completely forgot, but we should be good now. Also, let me know if the frame rate and everything is good, because I'm actually playing the game right now on 1920 by 1080. You guys might hear like my Mac fan. I have no music playing to kind of maybe filter it out, so I do apologize, but that's just the streaming conditions. But okay, the stream should be good now. I had the stream on private, so we should be back. I, I played against a Whimsicott deck and I just won because Keldeo was untouchable. Um, and it went straight through Whimsicott. But we should be good now to go. Uh, I am gonna be playing my uh, Articuno, Bertrio, Victini deck, and then my Jesse James Arbok deck. So I'll be probably streaming for like maybe an hour, hour, 10 minutes, something like that. I have a, bit of, I have a little bit of time to live stream right now. We're up against Malamar, which I'm actually excited to play against because Malamar is really good to play against thanks to um, the bench wipe. And oh, a mess bird. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll Cherish Ball, get the bird trio boy, get that boy down. But yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the stream today. Uh, probably just play a Water Energy on it. I do like this hand, but I'm gonna Cynthia. I'm gonna try and get like a switch or something. We probably should try to establish our Silvali. But a video on this deck will be going up, and there's there's the type null, but no Savali. So all we need to do is retreat into Victini and go victory sign. I doubt my opponent's gonna be playing any lightning Pokemon, so we don't have to worry about any times four weakness on my uh, lightning boys, which is pretty good. Hey, first time I've ever watched you live. I'm kind of your secret viewer that watches most of your videos. Well, thank you, Nintendo Ruben. I do appreciate all of the support on the channel. Unless, like, the Mesperts just set him up. Maybe it's a Malamar deck. I'm actually, if it's a Malamar deck, I'm excited to try out Sky Legends GX and wipe his entire bench. I'm actually excited to see if we can pull that off. So I think Malamar is one of the better matchups for this Articuno deck. I keep calling it Articuno, but I it's called Bird Trio. I don't know. I, saying the full name is just, you know, not, not worth it. And he is playing Mew, though. That's not good, but he's putting it back, which is good. So hopefully I can get a turn where I can wipe his bench with Mew. Unfortunately, our hand kind of sucks right now. Mm, I, also, I don't really like this too much. Hopefully we can draw out of this. I mean, we're probably going to have to damn... We're going to probably have to custom catcher that Mew and knock it out if he does bench it. I'm assuming he will because, like, there's no reason not to because this thing will, like, sweep his bench, knock out... We can knock out all of the Malamars potentially on his bench and just leave him stranded with a Giratina, which is pretty good for us. 
But yeah, if you're just tuning in the stream, welcome. I'm going to be streaming for a little bit. I'm just playing around with a couple hidden fakes decks. I'm going to be playing this Bird Show deck, which, again, there will be a video on it tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And then, of course, I might even have a, a hidden fakes pack opening video up sometime tonight or tomorrow, depending on what happens. Okay. We unfortunately cannot uh, retreat and go victory star. That kind of sucks. Uh, we're just going to keep building them up. Actually, he has no room for Mew. Oh my gosh. This guy just set up the scenario where I can wipe his bench. Lovely. I don't want Keldeo to get knocked out though, which is hopefully not what happens here. We'll see what happens. Though. But yeah, hopefully the stream is all good. Hopefully the frame rates are all good. Because uh, usually I record my videos with the game like in like a smaller window, but I have it currently on 1920 by 1080. But I was able to fit it into OBS, so hopefully there's no frame rate issues. I'm not, I'm, I'm not streaming in 60 FPS by the way. I'm streaming in 30 FPS just because streaming can put more strain on my computer. He is playing Power Plant, which is interesting. We don't really have to worry about that anymore. But at least there's no room for Muse, so I can gladly do a Sky Legend GX. I'm hoping he doesn't get the first hit on my Articuno tag team, though. There's a spell tag on him. That's fine. We're still probably just going to knock out all his Malamars. If we take out all the Malamars off his board and knock out the Giratina in the following turn, there is nothing he can do. So I'm fine with playing it slow for now until we can hopefully get a good setup going. Because our uh, hand right now is not very hot. Quite literally. I think what we want to do is do our GX before we even knock out the active because he has no room for Mew and Mew will mess me up there's a custom catcher it's kind of making this hand it's not very good I should probably Viridian here and get rid of the uh probably just get rid of the water we should probably thin out the deck we need the light energy anyways for our bird trio yeah, not a great start on our end, unfortunately, but um, whatever. This thing will be ready to go. If we can top deck, so if we can talk about a Pokemon, we can start attacking with Sky Legend. But I don't want to do it right away. We, I'd rather do it when we're heavily damaged, because that's like the key to making it work. Hmm, somehow when I pressed the collection button and then filtered Hidden Fates, press Not Owned, anything, nothing appeared. Huh, that's weird. I don't know. Maybe try restarting your game? That is, that is weird. The game, I think like the set came live at like 1230 today on pdcgo the packs won't be coming to the shop but like the codes and everything were like live for redemption earlier today all right let's see if my opponent custom catchers me now he just concedes he probably just saw that hey i'm gonna i'm gonna do a little uh, sky legend gx and uh i'm just gonna wipe out your board not bad. This uh, deck is pretty sick. This is not the list that I'm going to be playing for tomorrow's video, but like this is the updated list that I wanted to work with. But yeah, this deck is pretty fun. I really did want to see how we went there against Malamar, just because it's so cool to just knock out three Malamars at once with Sky Legend. Alright, we got another Malamar matchup in the bag. Hmm. Might have been timing then. It was like six hours ago when I tried it, though. Yeah, the set wasn't live six hours ago. It was. It went live around one, I think. Because when I went on PDCGO at like 12.50ish today, the set was already out. So it probably went live. Like you probably just like missed when it like was right before it went live. See, so that's probably why. We yeah, had um, it's hard to get right now. Codes, I could not find any codes. Not even Car Cavern TCG had many codes in stock. So it was hard to get codes. I just traded off a bunch of my Unified Minds packs. And uh, my pulls were nuts. I was pulling so many good shiny cards. I pulled, I ended up pulling two Articuno Maltrezes. I opened up at least 30 packs. Uh, do you play events or tournaments IRL, Dark Fury? Unfortunately, Joseph, I don't. It's just kind of too expensive, and I just don't really have the time to play IRL anymore. Um, I do want to get back into playing again in real life eventually, but like for now, it's kind of just doesn't really work. But I used to play in real life. I used to back in uh, back in the day. It was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty fun playing. I do miss playing. I will say that I do miss playing the game and going to like regionals in Toronto. I would never like leave the country. It was always like I would just do like the tournaments they had at our card shop and then I'd go like to Toronto to when they had a regional in Toronto. My best performance was 3 and 3 with a uh, Nido King Machamp takeout deck back in the time. That was my best performance in a regionals was 3 and 3 with a Nido King Machamp deck. Hello yo Hattie the Beast. How you doing man? Thanks for stopping by. Hi Dark. Yo Captain 
Uh, how you doing, dude? Thank you for stopping by on today's stream. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, well, for starters, our hand sucks. We're going to do this. We're going to reset stamp that hand away. What does this thing do? If you go first, use attack on your first turn. Search for a card put in your hand. Okay. Well, let's just see what happens. Unfortunately, we're probably going to lose this turn. So... Yeah, not very good. Our hand is uh, pretty bad. Well, he's got nothing in his discard pile. We might survive the turn. We need, like, at least one turn. We can get, like, a Dedenne here or something. We can maybe go for that. As soon as I seen Arbok, I was on this vid. Yeah, I'll probably be uh, playing Arbok a little later in the stream. Is that a police siren? Yeah, it's an ambulance siren. There's, I live right near, like, an ambulance place where, like, all the ambulances are, like, stored. And, like, so, like... All the time there's sirens going off. It's pretty annoying, but actually, I don't mind it. I, whatever, but yeah. You're still in college? Yes, I am, then 10. Uh, I'm actually in, how long is it from now? Like, I think uh, I'm too lazy to do the math. Nine days from now, I'm gonna be going back to uh, start my second year. And thank you for judging me. I now am back in the game. All right, beautiful. Yeah, I'm going back to college in uh, September, I think it's September 3rd I'm going back. So 10 days, actually, I was off by one day. But yeah, I'm, I'm in uh, Human Resources going into year two. Which I'm pretty excited to go back, not gonna lie. Okay. Still no energy to the discard, so we should live here. We do have a good hand. I might just straight up go for the Dedenne. Actually, no, we could probably Pokecom for Victini, drop the Ditto, and just Lily for six. Then I can Dedenne, though, and do the same thing and potentially draw a decent amount. If, okay, if we can draw a Pokemon here that we don't need, I'm tempted to get the Victini with the Pokemon. I'm tempted just to go to Dene and try and get a nice hand going. Okay. I think we'll just do this then. Put back the Dedene. Get ourselves Victini. Alright, let's see. Do we have our Switch? We do. Do we have our U-turn board? We do. Okay. I think we just Field Crush. I don't really... There's no point, but like... No, I can't really... Okay, let's just Lily for five. Okay, this is fine. Uh, might as well play down type null. The Savali's in the deck, by the way, so we can retreat and kind of uh, swap between the two attackers. Um, and tag switch to, like, a new Articuno. That's pretty much why the Savali's in the deck. Plus, I pulled a shiny one. Okay, I guess we can, like, Rainbow Brush here and uh, put that weak guard energy back and uh, swap that out for a fire. Sure. Next turn, we can attack. We'll probably get knocked out by Giratina, though, but we might as well do this. Is for the win, TCG your friend? Uh, yeah, not on the game, but, like, in, like, the YouTube kind of community. Yeah, we, we, we've we chatted a few times on, like, Twitter and YouTube comments. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Human resources. What do you learn from that? It's kind of like, it's business, and uh, we learn kind of, like, the human resource person is, like, the person who works with, like, all, like, the sub jobs within, like, a company, like, accounting, marketing, training, development, stuff like that. They, they're kind of, like, in charge, and, like, they organize that stuff. It's kind of hard to say. I'm going in my year two, so I'm going to learn a lot more. Angela, hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by on the stream. I, th I like that you're using Rainbow Brush. It's like my deck. Yeah, this is a fun deck. Uh, Rainbow Brush, I think, is just needed in a deck when you have th three different types of energies they got to work with. Uh, what are you playing? I am playing an Articuno um, deck with Victini to set up your Articuno Multra Zapdos Tag Team GX, which just came out today. That is the goal of the deck. And then we try to do Articuno's GX attack and take a bunch of prizes. Remember Machan Marshadow? I've seen some talk about the Machan Marshadow kind of deck using the, uh, what's what's that card called? Using Welder and Rainbow Brush. I think you brought that up, Cap. I just never got around to playing it, though. I don't know. Could be interesting in the new format. I don't know. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Hopefully GG, because uh, if we can get Articuno going soon, we can knock out all his Malamars. We might survive the turn again. If we can live another turn, this is going to be great. I do need to evolve my Ditto, though, before we get knocked out by Curse Drop. I guess he could actually knock out Victini, too. No, he's going to knock out the Ditto. Okay. Well, good thing I put the Type Null down, first of all. We can always save White Kirim for a rainy day. All right, what do we draw? Water. So we can knock him out Freezing Flames here. Uh, well, Cynthia first, though, I think. Yep, and it was OP. I don't know. It, it's interesting. And all right, Rip, we weren't able to get what we were really looking for. I guess we got to do this. Uh, we could have went for a Beast game KO. That would have been kind of pointless, though. 
I'm just going to drop that down. Hope he doesn't have another uh, power plant. And we're just going to freezing flames for the KO. Unfortunately, we're not really getting a good start going, guys. We're not able to really get very far right now. We'll see what we can do next turn, though. All I have to do is get the Articuno and thing in play, and all I have to then do is set up a GX attack and knock out those Malamars. That is pretty much how we're going to win this game. Okay, Volkner, that can find me Cherish Ball, which is perfect. That'll get me my Cherish Ball. We'll see if he takes out my White Kyrim this turn. We did just deny him the Viridian energy, so it's up to him to find an energy this turn to attack me. White Kyrim did his job, though. It kind of bombed me some time. Well, I was waiting to get the Gardakuno thing going. Am I wrong, or is Rainbow Brush a reprint from the XY era? Nope, it is an entirely new card that... I actually don't know if it came out in the Diamond and Pearl slash, like, long em like the Emerald days, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, an... I'm pretty sure it's, like, a new card. But, yeah, we actually didn't get many X and Y reprints in this new thing. A loose Amin of all cards, one hunter. That is very interesting to see. Loose Amin. Alright, he's gonna get a psychic energy. He's gonna stellar wish. We'll see what happens here. We're mostly gonna get KO'd. He just needs the one energy to knock me out. Oh no, he has a knockout, never mind. He has to hit something for 40, which I like. I hope he's not playing Mew though, because I do want to go for that Articuno tag team attack. I'm in zero grade, I can tell you what two plus three means is for my homework. <laughs> can you tell me? That is 5. 2 plus 3 equals a 5. Kappa. Another Giratina coming down. That's actually fine because then he can't Distortion Door my Articuno and then maybe come out of nowhere the Giratina Guard Chomp. He hits himself for 40. Interesting. It's only one prize gone though, so we're chilling. So we can finally start to get my Articuno guy ready to go. Ooh, I like seeing that. Alright. We'll go Volkner, get that Cherish Ball, get that Lightning Energy out of the deck. And here's where the fun is going to begin. I could actually get Dedene. I don't have a lane in the discard, though. Because what I want to do is... I don't know, we don't have Tapu Koko in the deck, never mind. I was going to say, because we could like, maybe Tapu Koko with Dedene. What else do I want to do here? I probably should just Viridian my Viridian away. Get energy out of the deck. Here we go, victory sign. Now we're going to need to find Unergy for this guy. I don't think we can attack with him next turn, but he can sponge a hit, and then we go Sky Legends. Maybe that's the play. Do you think that White Kyrim is a good a deck as the main attacker? And I don't know. It's it's hard to build up now that we don't have Aqua Patch, so it's probably not very good anymore. But in this deck, we can use Tag Switch to power it up in one turn with our uh, Bird Trio GX. That's why I do have it in the deck for Reshizard. You still live with your parents or on your own? If you do, uh, do you have a side job to pay the bills? I do live by my, uh, not by myself. I do live with my parents still. I actually have my uncle, uh, my cousin and his wife down in the basement apartment down below. Um, but my main source of income right now is just literally YouTube. Ooh, a judge. That's fine. I didn't really like that hand. And we get the same hand pretty much. And he has a Mew. Well, that's just not good. But yeah, my main source of income right now is currently YouTube. He judges himself and finds a Mew off of that. Of course he does. Hmm. Alright, there we go. We drew ourselves a good top deck. I might have to go with another Victini play here. We need a custom catcher of that thing. I think we're gonna have to like retreat and sponge sponge hit with something. We're gonna have to do this. Well Cynthia. Has someone ever told you something toxic in a vid? And the comments can sometimes be a little toxic in my videos sometimes, but I usually just ignore it. If it's like someone says something stupid in the comments, I usually just ignore it. It's like whatever. I don't really care what you have to say. It's irrelevant. Um what am I doing? Actually, wait. We could have done Sky... No, we can't. All right, well, we didn't get the double custom catcher. We might have to do it next turn. It's going to pass. But yeah, I usually just ignore hate comments, stuff like that. No, it's whatever. I usually don't really care about that stuff. It's like, whatever. The positive comments and all like the interesting comments about talking about the deck and the video itself, they usually outweigh the negative comments. So yeah, it's all good. 
This game is going to be hard to win, though, with that Mew being in play. Why was Jesse and James Ban expanded? Because it's really OP if you use uh, if you use red card and stuff like that. You can put your opponent down to, like, no cards in their hand if you use, like, Honchko's on Fair GX and a Jesse and James with a red card in the same turn. And, like, stuff like Let Loose also helps you. So, like, you can basically make your opponent have zero cards in their hand. That's why I got banned. Okay, let's see. Where is he going to put this damage? Please put on the Mew. Dang it. So our goal this turn is to knock out the Mew with Trinity Burn. Let's see if we get there. What microphone do you use? I don't know. Some random like $50 microphone that I bought at a, a thing. At um, just like a, uh, a store near my, a computer store near my house. And, oh, we got the, we didn't get a way to do the Dene though. Mm, we got the custom catcher though. Hmm. That's, yeah, I don't, honestly don't even think we can win this game. I think what we're going to have to maybe do is set up a tag switch play on this guy next turn. We might just lose to a Giratina Garchomp, though. This game is kind of a lost cause, in my opinion, though. That Mew screws me over really badly, because I would have just been able to Trinity or Sky Legend, the Malamar, knock out the Jirachi to try to, like, cripple him. Hey, yo, Timmy, how you doing, dude? Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Uh, wait, can you do a Unity Porygon? I, I like the idea of using Porygon Z in this deck, but, like... The problem I have with Porygon Z being in here is that it's kind of hard to get working effectively. Because uh, getting all your units and rainbows is like... There isn't really an efficient way to find the energy. But I will consider looking at that deck in the near future. Because I can... That's another video I can do on this Articuno Moltres Zapdos GX card. And it just gives me more content. It's like if there's a day where I don't know what to upload, I can be like, Oh, I can play, my, I can play Porygon Z Articuno Moltres Zapdos tag team. And once again, my opponent has no room for a uh no room for Giratina Garchomp so we're living so I think my goal this turn is to tag switch to this guy custom catcher knock out the Mew and then do a Sky Legends to win the game so our win condition is still kind of on board we'll see how it goes I think, though, after this game, I'll do one more game with this deck, and then I'll hop over to my Arbok, Jesse, and James deck, and then I'll do a couple games of that, and I'll probably end the stream. I won't be streaming that long. I have a little bit of time to stream today. All right, I have just enough HP, two to live a hit. Erica's huge. Okay, so what we can do here is we can Great Potion, try and play our hand down the best we can. And what we're looking for here is Custom Catcher and two Tag Switch. <laughs> it's asking for a lot, but we're going to be getting a big Erica for six. We didn't get there, but you know what? That's fine. Because we didn't get any uh, Tag Switch, we could still the Dene into it, possibly. We can still, I guess, heal ourselves and just pray he doesn't get the uh, knockout. But I really do need to knock this thing out. Oh, we whiff both of them. Dang it. <laughs> we whiffed it. We needed the cust double custom catcher, double tag switch to uh, knock out the Mew. I am still really bulky right now, though. I mean... Again, as long as it's gonna get a guard chomp, I should live the turn. I could just pass, and then next turn I just need a tag switch to get there. So I mean, this game ain't over yet. I can always just retreat into Buzzmosa. I can always do it next turn. No choice helmet if it's in standard. I'm good. Sucks in fates came out when I don't have a way to get packs. Yeah, hidden fates is pretty hard to get. I ha I wasn't even able to get any codes. I just had to trade off a bunch of packs for it. Do you think Shaman X is broken? Eh, not really. Shaman's been out forever. Never got banned. Even when it was in his prime, it was never like deemed like too overpowered. Hmm. Do I play competitively? But because Pokemon Search has been so awkward, I've started to hate Pokemon Communication. It's just it's a clunky way. Yeah, Pokecom is just kind of kind of in a bad spot right now because some decks just don't really like have like enough pokemon to make it work sometimes 
Okay, so we have to do this in the correct order. We just need to draw that one custom catcher. Wait, what? No, it's to another one of my Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was to my active. Wait. No, I don't want to move that. What kind of game is this, bro? What the heck? Let me cancel. What? What kind of what? I thought you could just press the energy things on the card and then move them. I didn't know you had to click on the card to zoom in to move them. Bro, are you kidding me? Okay, that's actually... Oh, my, that is stupid, dude. Are you serious? I, did, I I thought you had to click the little symbols on the card and not... You, I didn't think you had to zoom in on the card to move the energy. Oh, my. Oh, oh we could have won that, too, if you didn't have two custom catchers. Oh, my gosh. That cheeses me. Nice mechanic. Yeah, bro, exactly. <laughs> oh, man, whatever. How can I get hidden fates packs? Uh, you have to trade on pubs for now. There's not many places that have them for, uh, that have them for pre-order. Uh, Kirsty's son. Hi, yo, how you doing, dude? Thanks for stopping by. Or, if you're a guy or girl. Uh, do you think there's any way, any hope for non-Malamar one price decks? For sure. I think Malamar Arbok is gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna be playing that very soon. We'll do one more game with our Bird Trio deck. Um, yeah, I think non jex Malamar decks are good. They have the advantage of being usable. How's your Hidden Fates luck? Really good, Caden. Really, really good. Uh, I've pulled two Articuno Zabdos, a bunch of, uh, bunch of, uh, shiny cards. It's going amazing. Yo, yo, Nick the Draco, dude. How you doing? Thanks for coming by today on the stream. Wow. These starts have been trash. Recording my video, my hands were pretty good, and I was, like, starting with Victini and stuff, but... Now that I'm playing the game more, it's not working. All right, so it looks like I'm against Slow Duck. My opponent could be playing Keldeo. If they are, we have our own Keldeo, and we also have a bunch of other stuff. As long as they don't have Mew, we should be good to just knock out three Laprases, too. Uh, we'll see. The Slow Duck could be a little annoying, though, because of the fact that they can one-shot us. We'll see. This deck is obviously not a perfect deck, but, like, it is pretty cool. I guess we have Buzzmosa, though, too. So we can just build a Buzzmosa. We can use, like, Sky Legends, maybe even Beast Game with Buzzmosa to win the game. By the way, a few weeks, I may have saw you live on Twitch. What's your Twitch name? Little Dark Fury, by the way. Yeah, my Twitch name is Little Dark Fury. You might have seen me in the comments and the world's live stream in the chat or whatever. What's the best shiny card in Hidden Fates? The Malamar and the Inke and maybe the Naganid LGX. Those are the best shinies, I would say, Timmy. What's the best non-GX deck? Right now, probably just Malamar, Giratina, Vanilla. I don't know. That's kind of hard to say, actually, to be honest. All right, let's do that. Lily. Not great, not great. Uh, we can get... Ooh, we probably both type Null and Ditto. Oh, no, we didn't. What am I saying? I, I'm just an idiot. I can't search the deck for some reason. Uh, I don't reveal the Buzzmos. Uh, I think I'm just going to reveal the other Kuno. We'll Poke Comet back. So I can get the uh, Ditto here. I think we just get Victini, though. And then next turn, we'll do Dedenne. It wasn't Worlds. It was on a smaller streamer. Huh, I don't know, Nick. I don't really use. I don't really go on Twitch that much anymore. The best channel about Pokemon TCG, guys. Thank you, Philippe. I appreciate the support. Uh, why is your name Little Dark Fury? It was just a name that my friend came up with back when I needed a, a gamer tag for Xbox Live. And then the name just the name just kind of stuck with me, and I was like, no, this this name uh, is pretty lit. I'm gonna keep it. Opinion of tag team decks overpowered and rated overpowered, overpowered tag teams honestly shouldn't be as good as they should, but they just keep pushing them to be like the best decks in the format. Wow, that was an insane top deck. I'm honestly just gonna hold the hand. It's that good. But yeah, tag teams, yeah, they're definitely a little unbalanced in my opinion. I don't like how they're like pushing them to be the best decks in the format. It really does hurt non-GX decks and their potential to be good, but like, you can't really do anything about it. They, they're going to keep making good tag teams. We have like the new Reshi Rom coming out. Uh, but they are making some decent new non-GXs. Oh, they're still not attaching energy to that slow duck. This is really good. I don't think they have a way to build it up otherwise too. How's this for a deck idea? 4-4 four, four Arbok 
two Giratina, three three Weezing, two to Behemoth for Jesse James. The energy is kind of clunky, in my opinion. I don't know. It could be decent. Well, I was hoping we wouldn't draw that. I kind of wanted to uh, potentially Jesse. Uh, I wanted not Jesse James. I wanted to potentially custom catcher that out. All right. We can still maybe double custom catcher, bring out the slow duck. No, got ditto. Got white Kiram. Let's actually not play that down. Let's just do this. We'll get that Buzzmosa in play. We'll scare my opponent. Uh, I'll do that. And before he comes out of nowhere with like a Lance Prism Star into a Dragon Knight, I didn't really see what he grabbed. So if he does that, rip. But no, he only has water in the deck. That's right. I don't remember seeing any other type. Yo, I fought against you a while using Breloom. Yo, nice, Gloom. Was it today? Was I playing my Articuno deck? Because you may or may not be in a video. How do I uh, get a second Jirachi for my Malamar deck? Get packs, pretty much. Oops, I forgot about Malamar. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Malamar, Arbok, I think is just way better. I hear Sword and Shield's air is going to be introduced new type of thing called the GXV. Yep, I saw that too. That does look pretty OP. Not going to lie. That does look pretty OP. I think they had like, what, 300 health or something? Or did 300 damage? Alright. As long as we don't get KO'd here, we should be good. And then we can, uh... I could honestly do Sky Legends now and knock out those Laprasses. I'm tempted to. Yes, I was shocked with that GX attack. I didn't read that was going to wipe my bench. Yep. But yeah, GG Gloom, if you were playing Breloom, and you might be in tomorrow's video. I forget, I forget like, if you were playing a deck with a Moongus and Mareep, though. Have you seen the new Baby Triple Tape team? Yeah, that card looks hilarious. Um, is it any good? No, it's not a good card at all. But it is hilarious, and could honestly be a meme if it ever gets enough energy on it. No, Erica. Coco Prism. Cannot play it. We can reset stamp them though. I really want to bench wipe them here. I mean, we would be fine though if we could hit like a way to go here. We didn't get a tag switch though. I could put no, I could put Keldeo on the active, but they might get knocked out. I need a minute to think. What do I want to do? Okay, first of all we should probably get the Silvali. Uh, we got one tag switch. So if we can hit a tag switch here and a rainbow brush. No, we, we need a unit. Never mind. Okay, never mind. We're chilling. We're chilling. What do I want to do? Okay, I think I'll reset stamp them just to cripple them. And then wipe the Laprasses. Go back in the deck. Sacrifice Victini. Or Coco Prism, maybe. Sure. Because all we got to do is knock this thing out with Buzzmos and we win the game. It's not that hard to do. Yeah, let's do it. Because he'll one-shot me regardless, so it doesn't really matter if I take damage. If we wipe his bench, it's perfect. I love that tag team. I'm playing it when it comes out. Yeah, it's uh, going to be hilarious to see how it works. Because we'll see what happens here. Great Potion's good. Pokecon. My opponent could reset stamp me, though. We'll see. I don't know if I have enough units left. I did put one unit back on the deck. We got one in the discard, so we should be good on unit energy. So all we gotta do is build a scout with unit, and we're good to win. Hey, nice. I was playing with Mareep and Amoongus. Yeah, yeah, so you'd probably be in tomorrow's video. Maybe, maybe not. This deck versus Pika Rom only concede. Well, I do play one weakness guard energy UB, just in case. But that matchup is just pretty bad anyways. But, like, the one weakness guard energy might come in handy. It might not. You can't search it out with Victini, though. But if you get it on your Articuno in time, you might be okay. But you can't one-shot Picarom. Uh, the matchup is pretty bad, regardless of having the weakness guard. But I try it just to see if it works. I can't wait till they reveal info on Sword and Shield base set so I can find more about these V cards. Same. I want to know how good they are. Miss Magius with Wilder, Lieutenant Search, Porygon. I will get six energy on it if you have a way. I don't know. That's interesting, though. Miss Magius and the Dragonair that lets you attach energy. Extra energy every turn, attach 15 energy to baby triple win the game. Mm, that could work. But that'd have to be an expanded though, minor. Uh, because that Dragonair rotated out. because It was in, sun, it was in the uh, Sun and Moon base set. Well, glad I didn't go into Keldeo because my opponent is shutting me down here. 
Maybe I should have just sacrificed Victini. I don't know. I don't really care about Coco Prism at this point in the game. We probably don't need to use Articuno anymore. We took out all those Lapras's. That's another thing about Articuno's. There's there's no good energy recovery in the format anymore. So we need to find unit energy here. Right, let's Pokecom, put back Keldeo. Get this thing. All right, we're sitting on three units. So we just have to hit a unit energy every single turn. All right, before we Victini, come on, unit energy. Oh, we whipped it. That's fine. We can still try to attack with the bird here. This will thin the deck out. I can always custom catch her to bring this out. You saw the top, you saw the Keldeo baby Kiram with Nega Quag, the got top 8 in Juniors and Worlds. Yeah, I did look at that. It's interesting. Uh, Quag Neg, I think, is still good. Its performance had the DC open was good, too. So the deck, I think, is still like got potential. I just pulled a Kelly Fuller. Any idea how many packs I would go for a trade? One, maybe two packs at most. It's not really a good card, unfortunately, MMA. Mewtwo promo into Pidgeotto ability, like a Verse Seeker for your supporter. That could be pretty cool if your uh, deck has the Pidgeotto engine. Oh, we live the turn. Oof, that's really good. That is really, really good. All right, Cynthia. There's unit energy. Beautiful. Oh, we didn't get another one, though. So what do I want to do? I don't want to play Viridian. I think we'll wait a turn. What is victory sign? So we just need one unit energy and we win the game. Who would sign a petition but only works with fairy energy? Yeah. Who would sign a petition for me <laughs> about meme tag teams and not put Magikarp and Feebas? They might do that, though. What's they called the meme team instead of tag team? That would be hilarious. That would be a good marketing strategy. LOL, how do I sign up for the petition? <laughs> yeah, I gotta link that uh, petition cap. So he's gotta be low on supporters. He's played a lot. Oh, he's gonna switch wrapped into Quagsire. Big brain plays. Considering their hand's so small. Oh, Steven Resolve. So we're chilling. I think we just attack with this thing then. They could get double custom catcher though. There's no way I can draw into the unit and custom catcher to bring this out and win. So we'll have to attack with this thing for now. Hopefully we can draw a custom catcher. I don't want to give them the Viridian though, just to get more energy in play. You never know, they might be whiffing. This is going to be a close game though. If they well, if we knock this thing out with our bird trio and he bench and then my opponent benches another like E, that is dirty. I think we'll just knock him out with the bird trio for now. Right? Do we just knock we didn't get the unit energy, so we can't win. I think we just knock out the Quagsire. Say, you can knock me out, take three prizes. Alright, so all we gotta do is just not with unit. Do we have another Dedene to use? We do. So we can potentially go one more Dedene. You say it, you get it, lol. Hopefully. If I uh, do whiff it, we might be in trouble. Oh, they're gonna Koga me. Okay, there's another. Yeah, that's all we needed them for the bench is just a non GX Pokemon. We can custom catch her out. And never mind, they're gonna resist me to one and before I get unit energy. Wow, or how about, can we still do double custom catcher? Oh, so if we play this for three cards, we don't have custom catcher anymore. But then we find unit energy, we win. So volley's in play, but we don't have the ability. We can still retreat, we have enough energy in play. Okay, you know what, I think we're okay for now. Uh, will you do vids like two years from now? Possibly, I mean, I've been making videos for like, what, almost five years now? It's My passion hasn't really died down. Do I play the custom catcher? I think I will. We really need to get that unit. Okay, we'll take that. And there's there's a Dedene for next turn. If we do get knocked out, that's fine. Oh, we actually hit him. Wow. That is dirty. So we just win with Jeff Punch. Pull Full Art Fisherman in a Hidden Fates pack. Nice. Fisherman Full Art's not a great card, but there are some decks that will utilize it. That can go in Archie's Blastoise. That can go in there. She's blessed. I have a full art lady that I pull my hidden face packs. 
Witch Light. Lady's okay. There's a Great Potion. Alright, we'll see what happens here. This game ain't over yet. Alright, hold on, guys. I know I'm on my phone, but, you know, I'm talking to my friends right now. Alright. We do video. Yeah, I already saw that. And a Shiny Naga GX. Nice. The Shiny Naga is a good card to have because that card could go for a lot of money in the future. Alright, can we just draw the Unity so we can just wrap this game up here? This is a long and drawn out game. Unit. That's game. Sadly, we have to retreat or oh, whatever. But yeah, that was fun. Please don't be weak to lightning. <laughs> Alright, that was a pretty long drawn game. I do not regret that Buzz Mosa now, and originally I didn't have it. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we'll switch over to the Arbok deck now. That was a pretty good showcase of our deck here. That was a great game. We've got the Bench Wipe online. And now we're going to switch over to that Arbok deck. Where is it? Jesse James Arbok. So this is an experiment list. I don't know if it's good yet or not. I haven't been able to play the deck yet. But we'll see if this deck is good. Funny how Zap Maltuno GX references that does not play weakness to Bench and he's callous. Yeah. It'd be funny if it was a triple type. They would well, that at that point it would be like the best card in the game, probably. Now thinking about it, there should be a magic card if you pass Gyarados Milotic. They could give us like a Milotic magic card, yeah. Gyarados tag team will most likely happen because Gyarados is such a popular card. And we got an Ekans the Dene start. Okay, we could try to buy some time with Glare, maybe. I think we're playing as Breloom, which will be a weird match. If it's not GX attack but normal attack, uh, about four energies, yeah. How do I get Hidden Fates back on PC Joe? You're going to have to trade on the uh, on the public trades to get Hidden Fates packs, but they are very expensive right now. Like, if you're going to get one Hidden Fates pack, you got to have, like, you're going to have to trade, like, five Unified Minds for just one. You should try my version. I don't know. After this game, or after a couple games of this deck, I'll probably rather the stream. I won't be streaming for long, guys, but... I think we still have a fun stream regardless. Hi, Little Dark Fury. You just played against my Slowdark deck. Yeah, GG. He has high mind. That was a good game. Uh, I basically, the whole game there, I was trying to get the uh, unit energy to knock you out with Buzzmosa to win the game. But yeah, GG. That was a good game, man. But yeah, you can see just how good that, that bench wipe is with Articuno's and Moltres GX attack. He just, I just knocked out those Laprasses and it really hurt my opponent. So yeah, that card is nothing to sleep on. Okay. Um, this is a good hand, I would say, for sure. This is a really good hand. We can do almost everything here. We can Pokecom for Jirachi. I think get that down. We can treasure for another Inkay and drop it to Dene. Not a fan of playing to Dene down. I actually I get another Inkay or an Ekans. I'm going to get another Ekans. We drop it to Dene here and draw six cards. I know I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, GG, dude. It was an intense match for sure. Ooh, no supporter. Do I even bother with Glare? He might play a skateboard. I think we'll just build up the bench. What do I want to do? I think I just passed for now. It is probably to future proof that there's a type modifier like Evolutions from Ancient Origins. Yeah, it is true. What deck are you going to do? A what deck are you doing a video on tomorrow? That Articuno deck is going to be tomorrow's video. Except that list didn't play the Buzzmosa or the... Uh, it didn't have the Buzzmosa and it didn't have the uh why can't i think of the name right now i'm going in it didn't have the other tag switch i had an energy switch instead of the double tag switch and it didn't have the bus most but that's gonna be tomorrow's video is on that deck and it was a pretty good game pretty good video we got to really show off that tag team gx attack we'll see though how it goes sorry guys i'm just on my phone just gotta answer some text here Okay, back to it. So let's see if Atkins gets KO'd. It probably will. Yeah, it looks like Fluffy Pillow Retreat. We'll see if we can respond with an Arbok here. It sucks that we don't have Arbok in play because he would have had a zero card hand, or a one card hand anyways. We do still need to get Jesse and James in the discard. That, that Dionysus is also kind of annoying because it's letting him 
hit me for 140. Ooh, that was a good draw. That was a good draw. Do we have any energy in the discard? Yeah, we do. Okay. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to Viridian away Viridian. Get an energy. We're going to treasure that. We're going to try to try dig here a little bit. And then we just got to find an Arbok. All right, Stellar Wish. For nothing, bruh! <laughs> oh my gosh, I give up. All right, can I wrap him? No. <laughs> that is annoying. Oh. Considering how bad my hand is right now, I'm just going to give up on Malamar. Talk about a rough start. What's going on, Little Dark Fury? Yo, Cody Gold, dude. How you doing? Thanks for coming by on the stream. I'm doing good, though, by the way. Just playing some Hidden Fates decks. We just played the Bird Show deck for a bit. Now we're swapping over to this Arbog Jesse James deck, which doesn't seem to be going too well. Might be a little personal, but do you curse or cuss? Not really. I tend not to in my videos just to not lose my monetization. I do, like... I, I tend to swear in real life, but like I don't do it in my videos just to keep it child friendly too. Or at least like family friendly anyways. Not child friendly, but family friendly. Uh, why does Breloom decks dead draw so much? They don't have a good draw support system other than uh, their supporters. There we go. We got Arbok. Now Malamar needs to move from the active spot. How many switches do we have? One. We'll see how this goes. We got the Arbog in play though, and we just need to get Jesse James in discard pile. So if we can Stellar Wish into Jesse James, we can Viridian it away, assuming it doesn't get bumped by a Slumbering Forest. And then we should be good. Yeah, it looks like he's going to switch into the Mareep. So I'm fine with him KO Malamar as long as we get to use our little Arbok here. Then I'm good. I do like this deck, though. I feel like it does have potential as a Malamar variant because Arbog is doing 130 damage, which is the same amount of damage as Giratina is, and there's no real downside. It's just you have to get the Jesse and James in your discard pile. So, like, it's kind of kind of weird. But I still think the deck is good. Arbok's ability is pretty powerful. Uh, when does Cargo TCG have those sleeves at their website? Oh, the World Sleeves? I don't know. I don't know if they will. Because, like, the World Sleeves are, like, kind of exclusive. The alternate World Sleeves that might come out, I don't know if they will come out with alternate World Sleeves. They did it last year, so they probably will continue it. I don't know when those will be coming out. I don't think the main World Sleeves will ever be up there. They did a giveaway yesterday in their Discord for the World Sleeves, though. For, like, the set that I have. What decks have you played so far? I just saw you were live. Uh, so far, just the Bird Trio Victini deck that I built, and now I'm playing this deck. Oh, he's actually going to pass. There's a Spell Peg. Put that on Malamar. And we'll force him to have to like do a double custom catcher to get around that spell tag. Because then we can knock out that Mareep in a couple turns, maybe with Distortion Door. Hey Dark, uh, can you make an update version of how to become rich on PDCGO? I kind of have, it's actually spicy. Um, I have an unlisted playlist that was made specifically for the PDCGO subreddit. Um, and if you go on the PDCGO subreddit and you go into the About tab, there's a Video Tips and Tricks series. And if you click on that, there's my playlist. And I made a video on how to get the cards you need on PDCGO. And also in there, I give you some advice on how to get rich. It's pretty much the same thing. You just kind of play the game, uh, grind packs, flip packs. If you open any packs, trade off what you got on those packs. Try to make profit out of them. Uh, if you're looking for a certain card, never trade for what it's actually worth so you can save yourself packs. Just typical typical advice that didn't really change but if you want to watch an updated video on that if you go on to the about tab on car cabin or not car cabin sorry on the pdc show subreddit i just dropped something here then you'll find the uh you'll find a video on the updated how to get rich right, i'll see if my opponent chooses to ko me here why is Josh so expensive i want to put it in my arbog deck i don't know i won't get it from a trade and packs list is hard to get it's just because drachi is such a good card they just make it really expensive. There's a Cynthia. Can we get Jesse and James? No. We do, however, get the Tina discard, which is good. We didn't get any other R box. Uh, by the way, I have this Mewtwo in the deck for that side crush attack. Discard all energy from your opponent's active. That's pretty much why that's there, by the way. Yeah, I might as well get ready to retreat Malamar if my opponent's not going to do anything. Assuming I wake up, of course. Why is Drachi so expensive? I already read that. Yeah, but Drachi, like... 
They might make a promo for it just because, well, other than like the uh, promo that you get in the uh, pre-release kit. I'm talking like an actual like promo in a blister pack. They might end up doing one of those just because the card is so sought after and they're probably like, ah, we should probably put it out. Why is your opponent playing so slow? I don't know. Sometimes when it happens, it's usually like their internet, I find. It's not like they're playing slow because they're like thinking. Like You, you can't really think when you have a three card hand. But I'm pretty sure it's just they might be having internet issues. That's usually why. Sometimes I'll end up playing slow because I'm doing other things on my phone or computer while I'm in a game. So I'll tend to play slow sometimes. If that ever happened, I apologize. Why are most trades on PC so bad? People like to scam people. People will fall for it, unfortunately. People are, you know, dumb enough to fall for some of those scams. Some people hide cards in a trade that looks really bad. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to give you 50 packs, and you got to give me all these random common cards that you don't care about. But I secretly snuck in a full art chairs ball in there. And there's a knockout. So we get the spell tags. So we're actually going to knock out that Marie this turn. And we're going to knock out the Breloom, hopefully, in the same turn, assuming we get Jesse and James here. So this is looking like a big brain turn for me. We just need to get another Ekin, so we'll see how this goes. Lily, no. No Jesse and James. We'll take the Pokecom, though, and get ourselves another Ekans. We'll uh, put back that Mewtwo. Probably will never use this, to be honest with you. How many Jessies are we looking at here? Only one? Oh, that's why. Yikes. Only one in the deck. That is why we are not finding it. That's a rip. We could get off the prizes here. Let's see if we do. Yeah, why not hit the Shroomish? Great to see you on a live stream. Good luck with your matches. Thank you, Michael. Uh, no Jesse James. Uh, well, Cynthia and try to draw into it. Gotta love scammers. Unfortunately, they're everywhere on this game. And rip, we were unable to get the Jesse and James. I mean, we still go Arbok. We got rid of his Mareep, so it's still really good. We're not going to two-shot him, but I think this is fine. Every so often, I do sometimes find pretty good snipes on trade. Same. I actually ended up trading off. I, at one point, had another Articuno Moltres Zapdos regular art. I traded off. I got, like, I think I got, I think it was, like, I got eight packs of hidden fates and at the time that card was only going for like five hidden fates packs and i got three unified mines so i made a huge profit off of that trade because i was able to get another articuno zapdos for five hidden fates packs, and then i had three left over from that trade i got so i've got the card back but i got three extra packs six extra packs plus those three unified mines i was trading 15 unified mines packs for five hidden fates packs today that's how i opened up all of them and all my trades were pretty good all my pulls were pretty decent And I might be uploading a Hidden Fates pack opening either today or tomorrow, so I'll be on the lookout for that. I think the latter would be better if everyone didn't hoard all their cards and offer ridiculous trades. Yeah, same. That's public trades, though, for you. No, I don't think it'll ever go away. They can knock me out with Frostlass, maybe, but there'll be so low on HP, we can manipulate damage with Tina and thing. All right, let's see if we wake up. We do. So we're going to switch into Jirachi and try to get Jesse James. Life Herb. Best card in the format. All right, come on, Jesse James. Don't let me down. It let me down. Uh, do not need any of those cards. All right, let's just do this. Uh, do not need anything. Well, Lily for four. Jesse James. No. That's fine. Once again, we're still putting pressure on him. I think no spell tag either. That kind of sucks. We're still putting pressure on him. Wait, what? How do we knock him out? Weakness. Well, what, what, why didn't the weakness work last turn? Hello? Is there anything? What? Okay. I'm actually just mind blown right now. Why did the weakness not work the turn before? Unless he had a weakness. I don't know what the heck just happened there. How much is Welder going for right now? Normal Welder's probably like not that much. Like 0.20 of a 0.20 out of 1. You can probably get a full place at a welder for like one unbroken bonds pack. The full art probably I think it's around like twelve right now. I thought it would I actually tried to stock up on a few welder full arts before the new set came out because I was trying to see if it would rise in value so that like I would like have a good amount of welders. So I figured that fire would do really well at world, so I was like, okay, I should probably invest in a few full art welders. But it never really like I thought it was gonna go up to like fifteen packs, but it never did. I thought it was gonna be like the new Guzma in terms of price, but it didn't. 
So now I'm sitting crying that it never happened. Man, I wish I had a spell tag on right now. Because if he knocks me out with a frost last, he has to put a lot of damage and then we spell tag KO him. Uh, this game is still pretty winnable though with spell tag. I only played three though. I figured after worlds it would skyrocket in price. Same! I was like, alright, it's going to go up in value. Never really did though. I thought Poke Gear was also going to be a pretty big money card. But unfortunately never did. Alright, well my opponent just gave me a free prize. Don't mind if I do. I mean, I don't... I want to be able to reset stamp and like Arbok him in the same turn, but... I should be probably get rid of Malamar. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, whatever. We really need that Jesse James though. Let's just in the deck. Come on, Lily. Jesse James. Nope. No, we can still knock him out over 50. I'm better than everyone. I am better than poop. LOL. All right, Jesse James. Nah, I need to get full of Jesse James. But if I do a hidden face pack on video, assuming I get up there, then yeah, I could definitely do it. We'll see. All right, there's a ditto coming down. There's another spell tag target. Did any skyrocket in price like insane? Yeah, I noticed that too. I never invested in full art dead I have three, and I have one for trade, but I don't really think I want to trade off. And I did. I'm pretty sure it's better to have three dead because there are decks that use three and not just two. So I should probably not trade it. I just really thought the welder because I mean dead was kind of cheap when I'm broken bonds in his prime, but like I really thought another lifer. Wait, I said what? Get out of here. Mm -mm. But I really thought that Welder was going to go up in price. Hopefully it still does. Welder is still an insane card. Everyone's saying it should be banned. No, I'm just kidding. No one's saying that, but like... After Forms of Worlds, it should be expensive. I bought a Dedenne for 15 packs, and I've seen offers of 18, 19 packs for Dedenne. I'm afraid to trade him because I think I can't get him back. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. It's risky to do that, especially then if you lose it. It's risky, but if it pays off MMA... It's, you know, you make a bit of a profit. That's how you get rich, right? You make profits like that, but, like, it's risky. If the trade then goes through on pubs or something, or there's no other offers. But you can always put up your own offers. If you try hard enough, I'm sure someone would accept it. There are probably people out there that don't really care about their Dedenne. Okay, my opponent is just not getting lucky right now. Neither am I, though. Okay, we're just going to Cynthia and hopefully draw into that Jesse James. There he is. There's the beautiful card itself. Took us long enough. Maybe we should run Pogear in here. But I do have two Jesse James, so it's not unlikely to not hit them. And we have Jirashi. It's just if we had the other one in the deck, we'd be good. We're going to have the prizes now, watch. I knew it! Ha! <laughs> lol. Lol, lol, lol. Train on Peace Joe is annoying because it's laggy. Yes, I've noticed that too, Zeph. That is so annoying. I literally don't know why the game is so laggy on trades right now. The, the amount of times it has lagged and I've accidentally went back to my offers and just and then I had to re-go back into the trades and redo everything. That is so... Yeah, I don't know what the heck is going on. I, I actually want to rant about that. That is the most annoying thing right now. The amount of times I exit the trades by accident because it's lagging so hard is unbelievably high it's so annoying i don't know what the heck is going on i haven't seen like a post in the pcg um the pcg forms either like i really don't know why it's so laggy but yeah i've noticed that too it's so frustrating why would he put a rainbow on john marie unless you want it what thank you for the win you just gave me a free prize my problem is I trade for certain cards for 20 plus packs. I end up gambling, trying to get more and lose. Yeah, it's a bad habit. Gambling is a bad habit. I tend to go to casinos a lot. I know what gambling is like. It ain't fun. You lose money. Like, I'll go to the casino. I'll bring me a nice little $20 bill. I'll be like, all right, I'm going to try and double this and get a $40 bill. And then I'll leave, and then I lose all my money on blackjacks. Trust me, gambling ain't fun. And I do gamble a lot in this game, too. Yeah, this ain't looking good for my opponent. I'm just gonna do Jesse James. I don't even care anymore. We're we're in a good spot. What's up, yo, Connor? How you doing, dude? Thanks for stopping by on the stream. I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming for, by the way. I promise I trade for certain cards. Yeah, <laughs> it's an interesting Breloom deck. I'll say that for sure. Rocket Tail for the KO. So I pretty much win. There's no way my opponent can win at this point. 
was barely paying attention this entire game. I was reading chat, and I was still able to kind of just keep up in the game. Ripped my opponent. I don't really know how I feel about having those life herbs in the deck. They don't really do much for Breloom. I'm from Yuta, and we don't believe in gambling, lol. Yeah, gambling's a bad habit. If you know anyone that gambles, try to get them out of it. It's not good. It is not good. I'm not, I, I go to the casino a lot, but I'm not addicted to gambling. But, like, I know people who are, and it's it's a pretty deadly. It's almost like as bad as smoking. It really is. I can't find a good uh, ladder grind deck to get that full art lily. Expanded is probably the best way to grind the ladder, in my opinion. You don't have to play, like, you know, Latios Donk. You could just play, like, Zoark and just cheese a bunch of wins. Uh, that's I, my way to grind the ladder is just play a lot of expanded expanded for some reason has a lot of noob decks in it like it I, it's hard to record expanded videos because all the time i never really play against good decks it's always like random people with like random decks with like random gx's that they just pulled out of packs and put them in like oh yeah they'll have turnator gx drampa gx and for some reason they'll also have mimikyu gx and they'll also have gardevoir gx you know what i mean it's just random decks until you're done playing my deck of little jokes ah uh, i'll probably I'll probably do one more game and then i'll end the stream i i i don't have a lot of time stream right now anyways like right now i'm home alone so it's like perfect oh you know you said stamp me i see how it is not that it matters we literally there's no way they can lose or i can lose i'm using rowlet and a little jay torch so easy it's interesting halfway there already nice I don't really grind the ladder as much anymore, like, unless, like, I have an odd urge to just kind of grind on PDCGO, I will. But, like, I usually don't tend to just, like, grind the ladder anymore. Usually I'll just make a video, and that's usually how I grind the ladder, and it usually ends up working out pretty well for me. And that's game. And look at that. Two cards in their hand gone, and they lost Brock's Grit. Mind you, this game wasn't the greatest. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know. I'm liking the deck. I might try to fit in a fourth spell tag, though. Ooh. We can buy a pack from the shop. Do I want to? I think I will. You know, I don't really care if I lose my coins. We'll buy a Unified Minds pack. By the way, guys, Hidden Fates will not be coming to the shop, if you're wondering. I did trade off a Mewtwo today, so I'm hoping we can pull another Mewtwo. Yeah, I seem time to move expanded. Exactly! Everyone's just a noob and expanded. There's a lot of noob decks, so if you want to grind the ladder, just play a lot of expanded. That was a terrible pack. All right, well, we'll do one more game. Do I want to play Bird Tree or... I, I don't want to play this deck again. I kind of want to make... I want to edit it first. Before I actually redo the deck, I want to get those double full art Jesse James full arts. That is an insane full art. Um, we're just going to do another game with the Bird Tree of Victini deck because I'm having more fun with that than I was with Arbok. As long as we don't play to pink, it's Pikaram. I think it's actually Dark Box here is what I see. Haven't been on ladder because I don't feel like I have enough cards to not get swept. So if our deck isn't complete, you'd recommend playing Expanded? Yeah, like, Expanded, like, you have a way, you have a bigger option of what you can play in your deck. So you can play, like, Ultra Balls, Nest Balls, and, like, all kinds of cards from those eras, from the older sets. And, yeah, for some reason, Expanded, most of the people I run into are just not really playing the best decks ever. Same with Expanded Tournaments. But Theme Deck Tournaments I would is what I would stick with. Just play Relentless Flame if you're going to stick to Theme Deck. Relentless Flame is insanely OP. Oh, I didn't see a respond. Will you be live on YouTube two years from now? Would be oh will I be on YouTube two years from now? Most likely, unless like my channel gets completely demonetized and I had to restart, or my channel gets deleted, which will probably never happen because I stay out of copyrights. Uh, and as long as my passion doesn't go away, yeah, I should be on YouTube for a very long time. What's up, yo, Hollow Hunt? How you doing, dude? Thanks for stopping by on the stream. How you doing? I'm just playing around with some hidden fates decks, playing my Bird Trio Victini deck. I just played my. Uh, beautiful little uh, uh i can't why can't I remember what the deck was called for some reason my arbok jesse james malamar deck i just did a game with that this will probably be the last game of the stream by the way though just saying how long have you been streaming yo Anthony, how you doing uh i've been streaming right now for an hour and 14 minutes and this is probably gonna be my last game until i and then i'm gonna get off after this game assuming if this game is good but yeah but yeah, we played a few Hidden Fates decks. I'm just playing my Bird Show deck, which there will be a video on this deck tomorrow, so if you're interested, stay tuned tomorrow to see this deck in action. Alright. It's gonna go into the act. Greninja and Pass. Interesting. Alright, let's do this. Play that. Cynthia. 
Yo, Jefferson, dude. Thank you for stopping by. How are you doing? Alright, just barely got there. Nice. Which fighting memory is still legal? Alright. So we're chilling. We didn't really get a good hand off of Cynthia, but we can still power up our Articuno boy. We can do another Victini here. Would be nice if they didn't evolve any of these, and then we could just go for a Sky Legend and knock them out. Sky Legend might not be too good in this matchup. It's better in matchups where they have stuff on their bench. Let's see what happens here. We should serve. Well, no, we're not going to survive the turn. We're going to get knocked out, but I'm just saying. We'll see if they get a Custom Catcher KO on this. But I doubt that'll happen. Uh, so, which are you going to try not like. Oh, wait, hold on. I cannot read today. So, which are you going to try not like you have to put my Machia Marsha deck or my Arbok deck? I don't know. I'm definitely going to be using that Arbok deck, the one that I just played. That probably will honestly be the video after tomorrow's video. Um, it's going to probably tweak the deck up a little bit and just make sure it's nice and polished. And then I'm fine with my list. And then I'll probably make a video on that deck because I think that deck is really insane. And I'm, I'll am i probably end up revisiting this card with Porygon Z. Expanded with this card could be kind of cool too, especially if you take out a bunch of Shamans with Sky Legends. That sounds pretty good. So I'll probably end up revisiting Articuno a couple times. I do still want to do an expanded Mewtwo GX deck. I still want to do my expanded Mewtwo GX deck, uh, which there might be a video on that soon. But I got to get all these Hidden Fates decks out of the way. And there's still Unify and Mize deck to look at. So there's still a lot of content on my table. So this question is for everyone in the chat as well. But what was the best trade you got on PCGO? I don't know mine, in all honesty. I can't really remember. I've had so many good snipes in the past. I literally can't remember, but I've had some pretty insane snipes before. Hmm. I think, honestly, what I can do... Hit there for 210, hope they don't scoop up or heal, and then finish them off with Sky Legends and set, things, set other things up to be KO'd? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. This is why I like that U-turn board, by the way. Look at this. We're going to get knocked out, and we'll have another one for the other big teeny. All right, they do play scoop up, so that is an issue. Can we draw a supporter? No, that is technically a Dedenne, though. Conviridian. Not going to bother. I'm going to wait a turn to do that. What do we need here? Water and a lightning energy. Now nah, we'll see what happens here. As long as we don't get custom catchered, we are going to be good to go. Are you streaming tomorrow? I came late. I don't think I will be, Anthony, depending on if I'm home alone or not. Right now I am. That's why I'm streaming. So I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow, to be honest, unfortunately. It's hard to find time to stream. That's why I don't do that much. Four packs for a Zero or GX? Mm, four Hidden Fates, maybe, but Zero or a GX is really expensive. It's like almost 20, it's like almost like 20 packs right now. I always feel like paying too much for the cards I want. Yeah, sometimes I do that. It's just like, ah, what, I'm, I'm too impatient. How can, how can you play a Hidden Fates card? I just opened up a bunch of packs and traded for them on pubs, and I was able to get these new cards. Yeah, 18 packs. Yeah, it's expensive. I'm honestly being debated into... Whether I ask you something, I'll do it again. We'll be streaming two years from now. Yeah, I will be, Cap. As long as things don't end up going bad, I should still be streaming two years from now. Or making videos, sorry. Two years from now. Or two years from this day, I'll probably have live streamed again at some point. But yeah, videos will probably never stop for a while. My passion for this game is not dying down. Even though I'm not going to lie, Unified Minds, I was not really enjoying as much as I would have been. Unbroken Bonds was probably my favorite set release ever. Let's bring in this. See what we draw. There we go. I do probably need to get energy on another one, so we're just going to drop the Dedenne. Okay. We'll Cherish Ball for Keldeo, I think. We're going to try to maybe attack with Keldeo, because I don't know if we're actually going to survive the turn. I can't really do my Jix tech now, though. It's the only issue.
My one I gave was three him on top for fuller Blastoise GX. That's a if that trade went through, that's actually a decent trade in terms of like you gained a lot of profit from that. No, oh, if I didn't, I could have went to X Switch here. Wow. Hmm. He's got five energy. Yeah, he's gonna knock me out with Dark Moon. I think I have to GX then. It's not ideal, but it's the way things are going right now. Maybe I should have hit the Naganadel. I don't know. I don't really know if we can honestly win this game, to be honest. It's not looking too good. Uh, it's big and ditto. This game ain't looking too good, guys. We'll see what happens. If Calio can maybe do us something, that'd be great, but I don't know if we can actually win this. We'll see what happens here. This game ain't looking too hot, though. Do you think... Uh, do you think things like DC and Ultra Ball return to Sword and Shield base? I'm hoping. I want DC to come back. I know a lot of people hate it, but now the Zora GX is gone. Who cares? I still have the Bla I, I still have the Blastoise GX. Oh. Oh, you're giving the Blastoise. Oh, no, that's not worth it. Him on top is not worth a lot of packs, Angela. That's a that's not a good trade. Blastoise Full Art is worth a lot more than those Hitmon on tops. Blastoise Full Art probably worth two to three packs right now, in my opinion. Uh... They probably wanted to bring it back Ultra Ball. It's been around for so long. I don't see why they wouldn't bring it back. DC, though, I think will come back. Because that card has been around forever. It's been, it's been around since, like, the beginning of the Pokemon TCG. Oh, we got 50 viewers. Sad that this peak is probably going to be the last bit of the stream. But, hey, man, if thanks for stopping by on the stream today. But, yeah, tomorrow's video is going to be pretty lit. It will be on this deck. Now, see what happens here. Hmm. We're in a bit of a pickle. We're probably going to have to try to victory sign to Keldeo. Keldeo is our last resort right now. I hope so too. I don't want to be stuck with this crap Pokemon search and stuff with Sword and Shield. Yeah, the, the Pokemon search is just miserable. Like, Cherish Ball is an amazing card, but like then it just makes GXs even better. And the non-GX decks struggle unless you're playing Treasures or Netballs. I don't think maybe the Dark Brock matchup is just really bad. If they if we don't set up quick enough, they just get way too much energy in play. They'll knock you out with Dark Moon. I don't know if this is good. Which you stream more often though? Yeah, I know. I I do want to like stream more. It's just again, it's so hard for me to make time to stream nowadays. What do I get rid of here? Buzzmosa can go, I guess. I mean I cook another Articuno. Not gonna matter. He'll just dark moon me anyways, right? Maybe, yeah. Maybe this game just ain't meant to be. <laughs> just a theory. Wait, could I have went Coco? Okay, never mind. I couldn't have. I was gonna say I could have went maybe Coco there and attacked Fuller Jesse James. How much is it worth? Right now, it's worth like five to six Hidden Fates packs, and it's currently like fifteen Unified Minds packs. That's its value right now. I'm pretty sure. see what we get here fire energy I won't victory sign could just move it to this guy and then do a tag switch I don't know we're probably gonna lose I there's no way to win no I was looking at public trades and I found it oh don't accept that Angela it's not a good trade uh, do you think Nox GX is good uh, find a good way to make it Onyx GX is good I think Onyx GX is mediocre it's you can build it up with welder and it's got a good amount of support with the new set but like it's nothing amazing uh, yeah, the four packs of Zero Aura was when Picaram wasn't a thing. Yeah, Zero Aura used to be so cheap. And then it just completely turned into a 20 card. It's basically just like Dark Eye EX all over again. And it's even a good attacker, too. I traded for 13 5 mines, 3 unbroken. Phew, I didn't get scammed. Yeah, that was a decent trade, Savannah. I think that was decent. The card will obviously go down in price eventually because it's not like an amazing card. It's good with control decks. It got banned expanded, so it's only good in one format. But it'll go down in value eventually, but people just want it right now for the hype. But if you want it right now, I say that was a good trade. It's better than having to trade 15 to 20 Unified Minds packs. I gave three him on top of the Blastoise. Oh. 
Well, then, yeah, that was a good trade then, Angela, because him on top, unless, as long as they weren't reverse hollows, well, even then, I think it was fine, because the him on trio deck is not really that good right now in standard. No, they're going to take my dark right, yeah. I mean, they have way too much energy in play, even if we knock him out with Sky Legends, or Trinity Burn, sorry, they'll still go Black Lance. I don't think this game is winnable. This game ain't winnable. We could maybe get a custom catcher, though, and then just custom catcher. I don't really think it matters. We're probably going to lose this game. This game ain't winnable at this point. I mean, at this point, I'm just prolonging it, so I can just keep reading the chat. I probably will wrap up the stream after this game, though, guys, just because I got to go. We'll see what happens, though, here with our draw. If I can maybe do custom catcher, we can maybe do something. I could go so volley. I don't really see the point in that, though. Like, if we had Rebel, that would be nice, but we don't. At this point, I don't really know what I'm doing. We don't even have the other custom catcher. Rip. I mean, we just get knocked out by Dark Moon. I mean, no, we can remove 4 energy off the board. No, but there's no way to attack anyways, yeah. That's game. I think I'm just gonna concede. I, there's no way out of this. I don't think. Uh, also, uh, what do you think of Welder in this deck? I thought about it. It's not bad. I don't think it's anything too special though. But yeah, I think I'm gonna buy the day's PDCGO stream. I've been streaming for almost an hour and a half, which is usually like the time I wanted to stream for today. But we showed off the two in fates decks. I think we got some pretty good matches with that Articuno, Mulcher, Zapdos tag team deck. But yeah, thanks for tuning in the stream, guys. I'm gonna hopefully try to live stream sometime in the near future. It's nothing promised, unfortunately. Just because of how busy I am and how hard it is to stream when I got so many people in my house. But I will try to stream eventually, guys. Do not worry. And make sure to check out tomorrow's video, which will be on the Articuno Mulcher Zapdos tag team deck with the Victini on tomorrow morning's video. 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get ready for that. Zabby Zerora, hello. Yo, thanks for stopping by on the stream. Unfortunately, it's ending right now, Kappa. But thanks for stopping by, guys. Yeah, it's already ending. I'm ending the stream. It's hour and a half. Thanks for the hidden fate stream. Yeah, no problem, Tom. Thanks for stopping by today. And everyone who stopped by, thanks for stopping by. I had some fun. My voice is going to go away now, so I'm going to end the stream. But yeah, thanks for stopping by on the stream. And bye-bye. See you on tomorrow's video. And there might be a hidden fates pack on video later tonight. Potentially. Potentially.